Thank you, Dale, for that great introduction. I don't know about that stretched out. On this Christmas Eve, my bones going to pop and crack. And <laughs> but I'll keep working on it. Merry Christmas to all of you today on Christmas Eve 2021. I tell you, this, this year has gone by so fast. But, you know, God is the God of the fast as well as the slow. And be honest with you, there is no time element with God. Bible tells us that a day as is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. So we love him this morning. Thank him for sending the son that died that we might have life and have it more abundantly. A good friend with us this morning in the studio going to do two numbers for us and bless our heart with song. And then we're going to look into the word of God again. Merry Christmas on Christmas Eve 2021. Brother Charlie Bucket. Buck I get it right. <laughs> Bless our heart with a couple of songs. Good to have you with us this morning. Bless your heart. God bless you.
said, tell them I am that I am, meaning there's never been a time in the past when God w was not, and there'll never be a time in the future when he will not be. Praise the Lamb of God. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 1, there's a verse of scripture that I want to just quickly share with you today. The Bible tells us in verse 21 of chapter 1, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. I love this verse of Scripture. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 9, the Bible said, Wherefore God hath highly exalted him, and given him a name that is above every name. That name of Jesus is so powerful. Yes. Even though he was born in the city of Bethlehem and wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger, the poorest of the poor, yet his name is greater than every king, every queen, every president, every ruler, every person that has ever picked up the rulership of any land or any nation or any country. That name, Jesus. And oh, what I like about it this morning, that name Jesus still rings clear and powerful and mighty in the 21st century. You see, all the things, that, or, or sometimes all the things we know about certain people and their names that have ruled and reigned in, in days gone by is enclosed in a dusty old history book somewhere on a shelf of a faraway library. But I want to tell you the name of Jesus is not on cold storage this morning. The name of Jesus is not in some book hidden in a dusty library. But the name of Jesus is alive and well throughout this land of ours. Sinners are still being saved through the name of Jesus. Bodies are still being healed through the name of Jesus. Loads are still being lifted from the heart and the minds and the spirits of people in the name of Jesus. Deliverance is still coming from the bondage of depression and oppression in the name of Jesus, great Lamb of God. I could go on and on and on and tell you what is happening in that wonderful name of Jesus. You see, when you look into the Old Testament, names meant a whole lot back then. Oh, they were they were named for specific things. But Moses, he, he was named Moses because he was drawn out of the water. And when they when he was born, there was an, a ruler uh, that said all the boys who in certain age will be killed, and they hid him in the water in a bulrush basket. And then they drawed him out, and when they mama named him, she named him Moses, men drawn out. Isaac, his mom when she was standing in the flap of the tent and the visitors were telling old brother Abraham you're going to have a son she was 90 and he was pushing 100 and, and, and she laughed and then when they named Isaac his name means laughter Ichabod a horrible name wouldn't you like to go through life and people looking at you and said there's no Ichabod the glory's gone the power's gone the presence of God's gone well there 
was such sin and iniquity in the temple of God in Eli's days. His sons were committing sin beyond measure, and he did nothing about it. And when his grandson was born, the mama died, but Ichabod lived in his mama said, you call him Ichabod for the glory has departed from Israel. Oh, but on the hillside one day, shepherds were watching their sheep by night. And what happened? Angels of the Lord broke the silence. There had been over 400 years of silence between Malachi and Matthew. Nothing was heard. They lit the lamps. They trimmed the lamps. The incense could be smelled. People came and went in the temple of God, but there was no word from the Lord. But on that Judean hillside, that glorious night, all at once the whole creation lit up. There was a host of angels. Glory to God. God and the brightness of God was upon them because you can't be in the presence of God without getting some of his glow and getting some of his brightness and they lit up the sky and they claim proclaim unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior which is Christ the Lord and this shall be a sign unto you you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger and they went glory. Oh, and his name was Jesus. Praise God. You see, when you look at this, this name, Jesus, you will discover that his name was very powerful. Jesus means Savior. He saves his people from their sin. The only way you're going to get saved, my friend, is through the blood of Jesus Christ, the lovely Son of God. There is no other way. There is no church that can save you. There is no ritual or law that can save you. But there's a shed blood on the cross of Calvary from the body of Jesus Christ, the lovely Son of God, that will wash away every one of your sins. He is our Savior. That name Christ, which was added to it, means anointed. You see, he is the anointed one. It is the anointing that destroys the yokes from off of the next great God. Every one of us were in bondage to sin. There was a yoke of iniquity on our neck. We were on our way to hell in a runaway train. But one day Jesus the Christ, the lovely anointed one, the, the giver of the anointing, stepped in and broke the yoke, destroyed the yoke of sin from off of our neck. And they called him Jesus. Glory. Oh, what a night. Silent night when he was born. How great thou art, Lord Jesus Christ. You're awesome and mighty and wonderful. Oh, praise God. I need about an hour, Dale. Glory to God. <laughs> oh, praise God. I gotta go. Been a wonderful time with you this morning, Charlie. Oh, good to have you anytime, my brother. I love to hear him pick and sing. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And remember, Jesus loves you. And this old country preacher, we love you too. God bless you is our prayer. You've been listening to Morning Devotions, a program of faith and inspiration brought to you each weekday as a public service of AM 1460 and 95.9 FM WHBK Marshall. Your speaker, of course, Pastor Ronald Dotson of the Tenalina Church of God in Hot Springs. Join us again Monday morning for another edition of Morning Devotions.